Come on, girl. Welcome hunting. What are you doing here? This is private property. You're, you're trespassing. Well, the boys at the railroad camp, they don't seem too happy. Looks like you're in their way. We own this land, so they ain't going any further. Oh, you gonna live here all happily ever after? Is that it? What's it to you? You can drop the act. Everyone knows you're Cornwall's nursemaid, so why don't you run on home and go wash his fat feet? What the hell did you just say? You better start running, you son of a bitch. Must have got it wrong, then. Apologies, boys. You know what? On second thoughts... Easy bums. Let's go, girl. <laughs> Ain't killed nobody in a while. What did they say? One deed to the property. They was very understanding. You got my money. Yes. I was just about to call it a day. Thank you. Me and Mr. Cornwall go way back.
Easy now. Okay there? Ass wipe. Mr. I can find Arthur Londonderry. Arthur Londonderry? I, I think you're gonna want to speak with the foreman. Head way down there towards the coalface. Arthur London there. Cheer? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender.
Hello. Good morning. Howdy. Hey, partner. On your way now. Hey, you there. That's private property. Yeah, that's it. I'm with you. Don't on you that. turn back. It's all good. Calm down. You! Out! Now! Can't feel my leg anymore. You have to get the strap off of me, please. You all right? Oh, looks like you could use a hand. Oh, please, please help me. I'm, I'm losing blood. Oh, please save me. I can't handle this much longer. Help me. Help me. I can feel it getting looser! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, oh, you did it! Oh, oh, I, uh, I gotta get some scrap or, or something here. Oh, oh, mister, you, I thought I was gonna be, oh, go! Oh, I thought I was gonna be a gore. Oh, you. You can take whatever you want from my pack for saving me. Oh. We have a field day over this back in town. Come on, girl. Mrs. London Derry. <coughs> Off has dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. The 
It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies, what little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister! I uh, just wanted to say the debt's canceled and to here, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Or go back to thieving? Hmm? You two are. I'm right. providing for my That's family. No, argument. you can't provide Enough. for. I'm not putting on a show for the whole town. Oh, hellfire! Is there a man in this What's town? The... You son oh, of a God. bitch! Uh, who's talking now? I've huh? seen this through.
son of a lawman ain't too smart. Okay, okay, keep your hair on. Had second thoughts in that cross Masks the sheriff, huh? and guns are not a good combination. Take that off now, please. Okay, then. There. That is much better. Now we can get to business. Let's have a look. If you want to stay another night, the room is still available for you. Don't mean to offend, but you look like you could use a bath. You can depend on this. You know, a new stock on this could really improve you. Interested? This will keep you safe. We could change any components of this firearm you don't like. The trigger, the hammer. A barrel? This is an excellent weapon. Very good. You know, this weapon would look even more impressive with some engraving. What do you think? People need their guns around here. I do my best to make sure they have guns they can rely on. Gun is practically a necessity in this town. Look around. Ask anyone. Most people in this town are just trying to survive. I like to think I offer tools to help with that. Used to be a busy little town in its day. Now I'm the only store still open.
just about every gun in this town came out of my store. Not sure I've kept the town safe, but I've definitely kept it armed. Please, keep looking if there's something else you need. Now, let me see. Conditions in that mine are getting worse by the year. If nobody wants to work there, what would become of this town? Very nice. If you have gotten tired of staring down the sights on this one, you might want to upgrade them. If any part of this weapon isn't to your like, we can change it right out. Maybe the frame or the barrel. Anything, really. That's a good choice. We could change any components of this firearm you don't like. The trigger, the hammer, the barrel. How would you feel about a new stock on this one? I could make one for you. I could put some excellent engraving on this if you're interested. Once they closed the saloon here, I knew Ansberg's future was bleak. Was there something else you needed? Hello. Problem, partner. You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, and I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? 
On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the wheat go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what? Are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't right, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he... he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderland. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. 
And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! Noise!
horses from that coach! Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, you lost your minds. Oh, I've felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Long time, girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
girl. show you. This could take a while.
be a way off.
Okay, girl. Yep. <laughs> 